Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Tim and today I'm going to bring you guys a review of the All City Macho King Ace. tell you guys right off the bat that this is one heck of an amazing bike. I bought it for more all around purposes, but it's its main focus is cyclocross. So I guess what we should start with are the components that I built it up with. We have the All City Macho King Ace with the SRAM Rival 1 group set. Hydro discs, Bond Trager, handlebars, Easton stem, some rival cranks, DT Swiss, C1800 wheels on them. I put Panaracer Gravel King SKs on them, the 40 mil version. Definitely gum wall. The gum wall with the yellow paint or the neon paint looks absolutely sick. How I've been using this bike is basically commuting to and from work, which is about 40 miles round trip. Um, on the weekends when I do some gravel rides with my friends and basically toting my kid around in a bike trailer. So this for me has been a do-it-all kind of bike and I love it. I absolutely love it. There's not one thing that I would ever change on it. I love steel bikes. I come from more of a single speed background and I understand that steel has a very specific ride quality and can last a lifetime. Um, and that's kind of re the reason why I wanted to go with a uh, with steel. I'm going to just show how I've been riding with the bike and my point of view of riding with some voiceovers. So let's just cut to some rides. So I'm out here just getting started on this ride. And this is what we're going down. It's like dirt and gravel. This thing can hang. And I will tell you that I've ridden a lot of steel bikes, a wobby. Thunder, which is Reynolds 725, and this is like all city's custom tubing, their ace tubing as they call it. Super smooth. These 40 mil tires are definitely helping that too. And we're going down some, we're coming up some pretty rocky. Steel has a certain ride quality. It's springy, super quick, and that's probably has a lot to do with the geometry of the bike, but if I kind of charge up this hill, and it may not look like much right now, but pretty steep uh, some parts. I saw a few mountain bikers go by on e-bikes, and I thought to myself, I'm probably doing this wrong, but we're out here having a great time. Steel definitely has a different ride quality to me. I, ha I also have an aluminum bike, and I haven't ridden a carbon bike, but I can tell you, from what I've seen and what I've ridden and what I've read online, everything kind of matches up with steel. Everything that you've heard about it. It's springy, um, kind of has like a forgiving quality to it, but then when you kind of press down on it to charge on it and really pedal up some hills, it's stiff enough to do that. And those are things that I can definitely attest to with this bike. All City has like their custom ACE tubing, which is basically taking steel, high quality steel, and, and adding their own kind of process that they do. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but if I compare this to the way the Wabi run, rides, and that's a Reynolds 725, then what I can say is the Reynolds 725 feels a little bit more soft um, and forgiving, whereas this feels a little more stronger and stiffer which is good, um, in my opinion. Good for cyclocross, which is what this bike is made for. I am 5'9", I have short arms, but I'm riding a 49 centimeter. And also these um, sizing is a bit different than what you're used to. So the top tube on this guy whew, actually measures out to be about 53 and a half. So that's kind of how I did the size, or this is how the shop sized me for the 49. I thought it was going to be way too small, but it fits perfect. And I'm going to stop filming because I'm going to eat shit. <laughs> going down this stuff. Actually, not bad right here. Look at that. We're ripping. Okay, so my overall thoughts on this bike are if you are in the market for a cyclocross bike, 
that can also serve as an everyday bike or a gravel bike, then I think you're looking in the right place. Not only is this thing made out of steel and it has its own ride characteristics with that, but it's also got the ACE tubing and the special process that All City puts it through in order to make it a very clean ride, um, strong, agile, soft, and this Columbus fork, I forgot to mention that, but that thing is insane how it can also change its offset right here with this little, I'm not sure what that is, but you can change that and that changes the offset of the fork or the wheel or whatever. Anyway, um, I think this is an amazing bike. I would buy it 15 times over and I think that you should too. My next steps with the bike is to actually put it through a cyclocross race. So I'm gonna be training up on that and I will be sure to document that journey. So if you like this content with the bike reviews and wanna see me try to do my first competition, then just smash that subscribe button. You can also follow me on Instagram at Tim All Day. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like this video, thumbs it up please. It helps motivate me to make more like it. Um, and I'll check you guys in the next video. Later.